get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs like the founders of RX Bar, P90X, Einstein Bagels, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. This episode is brought to you by Rise25, which I co-founded with John Corcoran. Rise25 creates 100% outsourced VIP special events for software companies or conferences, basically help bring together their highest level customers to connect and collaborate in one place. Uh, We do them all over the country. You know, this past year, we did them in Austin, Chicago, Santa Barbara, San Diego. We have one coming up in San Francisco. You can find out more. If your community qualifies, go to rise25.com. Today's episode is also brought to you by Brand Driver. Brand Driver helps e-commerce brands grow online sales. They help you to protect your brand on Amazon. I actually did a demo with them at the Kehi Show, which you guys, I met you guys at. And I love the dashboard. It creates visibility so you can see all your reviews and questions that need answering in one screen. Big companies use it, but they have small company pricing. So I am excited to introduce you to today's guests. We have the founders of Hello Water, Rusty Jones and Tom Bushkey. Hello Water is fiber infused with, I don't think there's another drink I know of on the market like this is fiber infused. It's zero sugar, five grams of fiber to help with a healthy lifestyle. Hello Water is a fresh delivery system for fiber with, I like to say, inspiring flavors, inspiring names, because they have uh, flavors called Dance, which is their orange mango. They have other delicious flavors, which you check out on their website, which they call Smile, Laugh, Live, Love. Of course, we want all of those things. And they can be found in Target, Jewel Asco, Woodman's, on Amazon, and many more retailers across the country. Guys, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having us. So when I visit your store or hang out with you guys in a year, where where do you want to be? Where, where else do you want to be on? You're gonna see you're gonna see a lot more distribution. We've got the 2019 plan. Uh, there's a couple of really large retailers, nationwide retailers that that we can't announce yet uh, that we're pretty close with. Um, but we'd like to, you know, we, we really for us it's about points of distribution, right? People can enjoy it and benefit off of it if they can't find it. And so we're fighting as hard as we can and, and this nonstop hustle to get to get these points of distribution. And uh, in the next year, if we sat down uh, and said we made it to 5,000 stores, I think we'd be, we'd be very happy. Hello Water Kids. Let's talk about that a bit. You're, you're at an event right now. Where are you? Yeah, I'm in Southern Illinois. So really how Hello Water Kids came about is, you know, we've got, I don't know, a hundred or so Amazon reviews and, you know, four and a half stars and all positive response. But it came from, you know, I've got a three-year-old and Tom's got nieces and nephews. And what we kept hearing was, hey, can I get that smile water? Oh, you know, and the kids saw it, felt it was a treat. Mm. Little did they know that mom was sneaking five grams of fiber into their daily diet. And they need that, you know, they're probably more deficient than anybody else because of the processed foods that kids are consuming these days. So we kept hearing this and we kept hearing in his store, we, you know, Jack's kept hearing in marketing events. And so we took a hard look at the kid's aisle and we saw no real functional beverage in the kid's aisle. And you've got some great beverages out there that are getting, getting lower in sugar, but they're still, you know, 10 percent juice and 18, 36 grams of sugar or Honest Kids is out there with a flavored water with 40 calories, um, but there's no real functional beverage. Um, so we saw that and we really kind of, we're gonna give this a test. We're gonna launch it at Expo East, coming out with three flavors. And then again, we're not just gonna put a, a flavored functional water on the shelf. You know, we've got a whole marketing campaign to really educate the younger consumer, you know, that kid on the benefits of fiber and vitamins and the negatives of sugar and all these other things that are put into some of the drinks that they're getting. You know, most of them are out there selling toys with sugar. Uh, we hope that we bring really this true functional beverage 
that a kid will pick up, be able to put in their lunchbox, enjoy, and have that repeat consumer. Mom can get her five grams in the beverage aisle and still uh, get vitamins and uh, fiber in the kids' aisle. Totally. What about um, e-commerce versus retail? How popular is Amazon for people to get it versus going in the store and getting it? Well, I mean, it's it's obviously we do Amazon for from a brand awareness standpoint. So anybody who hears about us across the country can can go there right away and try it. That's the number one reason for doing it. We find it's it's uh, it's tough to be profitable on Amazon because we are shipping water, and it, it and it's heavy. Yeah, correct. So we find it with the with the fees and with the shipping to be tough. But we want to be able to offer anybody in the country to be able to taste it. So we don't promote it hard on Amazon, to be honest. Uh, because it, it 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 it's not a big money maker if at all. Um, we'd rather go to retail yeah. and we'd rather help out our distributors yeah. and our retail partners and have people know they can get it and buy one bottle at a time or two bottles at a time every day. And, and yeah, but it increases awareness, so they'll see it there and then they'll probably just pick it up at their yeah. wherever locally they are. And what's interesting when I did my research is, oftentimes the drink brands or the food brands. It's when you look at the reviews, it's really difficult because everyone has unique tastes. You know, people one person will love it, and this, the same per, or a different person will drink the exact same thing and hate it. And you guys have actually really good reviews across the board on Amazon, which is a bit unique because you have such varying palates. So that's you know, it, it's great to see that. that I'm sure that social proof on uh, on Amazon also. Yeah, you can't win them all. We realized that early. Uh, I've done, I've done some products in the past and put them on Amazon, like some protein shakes and things like that. And to your point, you could have two people sitting right next to each other drinking the exact same shake, or same drink, whatever it might be, and have completely different, different feedback from it. It's everybody's palate's different. Some people it's not sweet enough. Some people it's too sweet. But we are are trying to get the majority and, and deliver to the you know the seven out of ten or eight out of ten that that can really enjoy it and, and that's that's about yeah. as the best we can. Hope. So, I have one last question for each of you, um, but I everyone should check out hellowater.com. Go to wherever you are. I'm in Chicago, so I saw you guys have Sunset Foods. There's Target. There's Jewel Osco, So, check it out. Try it. Everyone needs fiber anyways. Um, and the, the question I have for each of you is, I always ask, since it's Inspired Insiders, what's been a low moment that you had to push through and what has been a proud moment? So I don't know, um, Tom, what's been a low moment, big challenge, and then what's been a proud moment for you? Sure, and I don't think it, it just referred to hello water i think for me the low moment was starting rainforest running it for five years and then having to shut it down mm. and, and not being able to return uh, money back to investors that was a that was a really really hard time for me um, i felt horrible for not being able to succeed that five years i definitely got my butt kicked and i knew nothing about the, the beverage industry prior to that and so that five years was my education, and it was, uh, if they say if they say that you learn more when you fail than you do when you succeed, it's true, and you learn so much and you build relationships. And so from 2015 to 2016, I took that year off and, and did some consulting for some other beverage companies, and then said I got to get back into. It. Mm. So to go with the high You're point a is for punishment or what? No, I. I, I You're like I just back. got whooped. I'm gonna go back in. <laughs> Knowing what I what I knew then, yeah. and and who I knew, and I just had a, a vision in my head of I can do this again if I do it the right way. And so the low point would have been at the end of fourteen, not being you know having to shut down Rainforest and admit it didn't work. Uh, but the high point is all the education, the people, and, and getting a second chance at doing this again. And we are so much farther ahead with Hello Water. Than we were with Rainforest. And in a year, we've done more revenue than we did in five years with Rainforest. So it pays to be with the right people and really get your education and then make it pay off. 
So why do you think, and what's impressive actually is that the investors in rainforests followed you to Hello Water. Yep. Why yep. do you think that is? Because obviously this didn't work. What, what were some of the sentiments you were getting of why they followed you this time around? Just speaking from my behalf, I think it's my passion to put out products that people need like this. So it, in, in, in this time, I didn't come to them, and we didn't come to them until we had everything done. The packaging was done, the cost of goods were done, how we were going to produce it, where we were going to produce it. The meetings were lined up. You know, Everything was done this time around, I guess, to, to make it easy, easier for them to say yes. And they loved the package. You know, we sent out... We, we sent out emails and we sent out the package to them, and when they saw the smile, laugh, and love, that got their that got their attention. And then they tasted it, and I think a lot of their wives or significant others tasted it and said, "This is really good." Yeah. And and we all know that if if I if we have a, a gentleman invested in and his wife loves the product, that gentleman is going to invest. That's usually that's usually how it works, right? So yeah. It, we're just we're just very fortunate to be able to, to pull that off and, and to have those, those rainforest investors come back and, and I guess believe in myself and introduce to Rusty and believe in Rusty and see the finished product and, and everything that we put behind it for them to say yes. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for sharing that. It's often time. That's the the tough times. The good stuff comes after the tough times sometimes. Uh, Rusty, what about you? What's been a low moment and then on the flip side, what's been a, a proud moment? Yeah, I echo that. Uh, for me, with the passion I have that I put into other brands, the low moments for me are, you know, being in the marketing side and when things start getting really good and you get to the strategic partner, there's a lot of restructuring that goes on. So I've been a part of those restructures and, you know, we had a lot of hours and a lot of holidays were passed over because I believed in what I was working for and just didn't always make it to the promised land with some of those brands. Um, so being able to, you know, meet up with Tom and uh, build it, build something myself, I think is the high moment. It's, you know, it's our ideas. It's you, you see, yeah. you see those 3 a.m. you know, YouTube nights come to fruition, and then the first time that you, we actually saw this package and this product on the shelves at uh, Go Grocer and Sunset Foods in Chicago. I mean, it was, it, it was surreal, but it was also okay that was supposed to happen, what's next? We knew that we put in the time and we knew how to get there. Now it's every other day, it's okay, what's next? We got there, what's next? So I think, you know, for it's, you know, just just show up as half of it and, you know, grind it out. Yeah, so it sounds like some of the low moments were like where you work, it wasn't your brand necessarily and you worked so hard to kind of get it out there and it all maybe didn't work out. And a yeah. proud moment being seeing your actual hard work come to fruition. Absolutely. Because you have a lot of experience as far as, I mean, I saw some of the brands you worked with, like High Brew Coffee, Brew Dr. Kombucha, um, you know, LaCroix, Sobe. I mean, you have a, a large, extensive client list that you've helped. Yeah, I've been very fortunate to work with some of the you know, biggest brands in the industry and with that came a lot of uh, a lot of education, a lot of experience that I'm able to roll into Hello Water. Love it, guys! I want to be the first one to thank you. Where should we point people towards online and offline? Obviously, you can go to Hello Water or any social media or any specific other places we should point people towards. Yeah, HelloWater.com. You can check out you know what the brand is. Uh, we've got a store tracker locator on there that you can find out where we're sold. We update that pretty periodically. And then, you know, shoot us a note on LinkedIn, you know, Tom Bushki and Rusty Jones. Uh, you're always willing to collaborate and wanting to hear more from other entrepreneurs and really share our story. You know, we, could, we didn't get here by ourselves, so we're happy to share any insight to uh, help that next, you know, ready-to-drink beverage or cookie pop or whatever it is that's going to make, uh, make it next. And, you know, we're trying to, you know, inspire health and uh, have consumers live better and hoping uh, we can inspire somebody to do the same. Thanks, Tom. Yeah. Go ahead. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep hustling until this is a household a household brand and, and people really know about it. And we honestly believe we, we have something and we have the right people behind us and the right team to, to get it done. So stay tuned. More Thank work ahead. You guys, check out Hello Water. 
get your fiber in your water, plus they probably spend an arm and a leg on that domain in China, so you should go to that domain just for that reason alone. <laughs> but, right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks Jeremy. Jeremy. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I'm feeling like a hundred grand.